All right, I am trying to help out Andrew at Ratio Coffee right now. Uh, the problem is he's trying to get ratiocoffee.ca to forward to the Square site, which is, uh, what is it, Ratio, is it just Ratio at Square? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, oh, he's trying to get it to forward to here. So this is his Square online ordering site but he wants the ratiocoffee.ca domain to go right there. And it's not working, so I'm going to take you through what I'm going to do, and hopefully this works. <laughs> uh, first thing we'll do is we're going to remove this forward he has on his domain registrar. It's not working, and the better way to do this is to actually just um, connect the Square Weebly store to his actual domain name. So we're gonna go to customize. We're gonna say use a domain that we already know. The domain is ratio coffee. So I'm going to paste that in. I'm going to connect it. And now we have to update the domain's DNS settings. So this is the IP address here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to DNS settings. And there's two A records here that we need to edit. So we're going to paste in this new one. Save that. And then we're gonna make sure that this record is also the same thing. And um, the third one they want us to add is this www record. So basically these records tell uh, the internet when they, land, when they hit ratiocoffee.ca, when they visit ratiocoffee.ca, what website, what property on the web does it redirect to? And so instead of Squarespace, we want it to redirect to their Square online ordering site. So we're gonna add one more record here. It's an A record as well, but we're gonna give it a host name of www. We're gonna add that. Now the challenge here is that these, um, changes can take a while to um, propagate. And so they might not work right away, but I'm also just gonna make sure that we're using these name servers. Yep, yeah, okay, so let's go back to Weebly and we can click done. It might not, oh, looks, looks like that is already live. So let's visit that site and see if it's working yet. Okay, so this forward is still, still uh, active. It, it, sometimes these settings are cached for a while, like they're, they're cached on the web. So what we need to do is just wait a little bit for this to propagate. All right, so now it is loading. It looks like the SSL certificate is still taking a little while to load, but on my phone, when I check it here, it is loading and it's loading with the uh, with the SSL certificate. That can take a little while for that to uh, load up as well. It kind of has to do two things. It has to do update all the DNS information everywhere and then it has to update SSL. But yeah, it looks like this is working. So that's how you update your DNS settings to connect your custom domain to your Square slash Weebly online store. All right, it's the next day and I didn't want to publish this video without, <laughs> without uh, talking about actually what happened after we switched everything over. It does take a while for DNS settings to propagate everywhere and for SSL certificates stuff to propagate everywhere. And in the meantime, your customers will get errors. Lots of things wasn't working. Uh, so everything from cannot connect to the site to security warnings to, uh, we also had this error publish site not found, reason no data. So just to let you know, once you update, once you connect your custom domain to your Square site, it is, <laughs> it is, uh, not going to work right away. Give it a couple hours, let things work themselves out, then test it. And if there's still problems, reach out to Square.